So I haven't changed any, well, I just did now, but I hadn't changed any settings on this. Um, and one thing is too, I have not been using the, the touchpad to be, to be frank. I've just been using it as it, which is hard to do because now I'm looking through the, through the camera. But um, I went to my web browser to download uh, Brave for Windows, and the fan is going insane. Like that is untenable for me personally. So I was trying to figure out. Well, let me put this to download e uh, in the background. And while I do that, as you can see, I'm not using the touchpad. I'm just the touches. Touch on Windows is kind of abysmal, but um, for just minor web browsing, changing settings, etc., not so bad. So this is an app called Motion Assistant, which came with it. It came with this is all the stuff that came on it. I haven't changed anything yet except for adjusting the taskbar. So it came with Steam, Motion Assistant, Microsoft Edge. GPD explain what I don't know this PC and wind controls so I haven't done wind controls yet but as you can hear the fan I'm not even doing anything all I did was open the web browser and change the taskbar and the fan was going buck wild so let me open motion assistant and I already changed this actually I don't actually know how to... Oh, I think it was on Custom 3. So that might be why it's going crazy. Because... It was set to 30 watts. And I don't know if this is the minimum. Oh, okay. So you can change... Okay. So let me... Let me set this up right now. So Custom 1... Oh, I see. Yeah, let me run this thing at 5 watts and see... And let me disable CPU boost. And let me unify. Oh, Bob, darn it. All right. And as you can see, uh, I set it to 5 watts. Package power, 5 watts. Um, I wish this would show the actual. I'm plugged in right now, so I guess it doesn't matter. And then what I did for the fan was I went to fan settings. And I just enabled this setting for the fan curve. And immediately... I mean, that's good for me. Uh, I'm sure eventually I can get more in depth with setting this thing up, but I'm just gonna leave it on the the custom. I'm just gonna leave it on the 30 watts, and I'll leave this. I'll leave this on. The only thing I'm gonna change is the. So I left the unify that just unifies this. That they keep the same TDP whether it's plugged in or not, and I turned off the disable CPU boost, and all I did was I left enable fan speed on. So I don't even hear the fan at this moment. Um, one thing I did notice with the device, which uh, I'm not sure if it's just a me thing or what, but um, this it's not textured. This the this part of the device feels different. This all just feels plasticky. This feels it's not textured, but when you run your finger, like if you're just touching it, it doesn't feel textured and it doesn't look textured. But when you run your fingers across it. You just feel it kind of grabbing your fingers. I just noticed it because since I'm using it, the touchscreen so much, I had the back of my fingers holding it like this, and it just feels interesting. It feels kind of nice. I don't exactly know. It's just a sensory thing, I suppose. But I, don't, I didn't see anybody mentioning that, so I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm autistic. I heard the fan come back on. That's the one thing. Like, I know people complain about battery life, but I mean, with a device of this size, with this amount of power, if you can get two hours out of it, I'm okay with that. But if the fan's screaming at me, you know, that's not going to be enjoyable. So, fan curve, hopefully I can figure that out. And again, I'm using this touchscreen looking through my phone instead of looking directly at it. So where the hell is the downloads on this? Oh, downloads right here. Oh, click to install. Okay, is this the button to install? See, I don't use um, Microsoft Edge. So let me, there we go. 
Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize. My bad. I'm cutting you guys off. All right. Yes. So I'm just I'm just installing some things on here, and there's that fan. So that's going to be my biggest concern personally. I know some people have concerns with the size of it, whatever. But I mean, me in the battery life, um, which I'm going to install. Uh, I forget what the application is called, but it lets you view all the stats on top of the screen when you're playing games. So you can see the TDP usage and how much battery you're actually using. Um, but yeah, as far as battery life goes, if, if I can get two hours out of this, I'm fine. But if the fan is blowing like that, which I mean, I don't exactly know how much it's working right now. All I'm doing is, yeah, set this as default, please. Skip. I don't have anything to import. No diagnostics. All right. So let me see this again. Huh, okay. So I see what happened there. When I, I guess maybe I have to leave this running in the background. So the fan curve that I enabled, um, when I closed the program, it, it went away. So I assume, oh, and I didn't realize I'm at 15 watts right now because I have it unplugged. So CPU temp, it says, is 47. So I'm only using 5 watts. So maybe 5 is the minimum. I thought 3.5 was the minimum. But maybe um, 5 is the minimum. So if you're not doing anything, 5 is the minimum. Perhaps I have to change my BIOS or something. I would like to run it at 3.5 if I can. Um, let You know what? Let's do... Um, how do we set... How do we set this to 100%? I mean, honestly, maybe that is 100%. Who knows? Who knows? Um, fan speed, 4,500, 4,400, okay. RPMs, I mean, that thing is loud. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to leave this program. I don't, oh yeah. I'm just going to leave that. Running in the background. Is this the new Brave? Okay, so let me close. Um, I think I have to unpin this and pin it again for it to save the icon. Sometimes it does that. So where's uh, more options? I hate Windows, honestly. Bring back Windows 10. Um, I lost it, didn't I? Okay. All right, there we go. Pin to taskbar. So let's pin to start. So show more options. A pin to taskbar. So you see, I'm using my touch screen. I mean, it's not the worst thing to do. And now I'm going to start installing uh, FL Studio. My That's my audio software. I'm going to install Serum, which is an audio synthesizer. I'm going to install Pro Tools, which is another audio software. And after I install all those, I'll probably install Battle.net and I'll install Call of Duty so I can... And then I'll install the um, application to see all of the stats so that you can see how much TDP I'm using on Call of Duty. And I'm probably just going to play it at 1080p, which I believe this is 1080p right now. Let me go to my display settings. I believe this is 1080p currently. But um, one thing that I hate with these kind of handhelds, oh, that was interesting. One thing that I hate with these handhelds is going between resolutions. Like switching it back and forth, I just want to leave it at one resolution. And the reason I don't like using 720p, even though it's a small screen, is because when I use my audio softwares, they don't fit. They don't fit properly on a 720p resolution. So really, they're better at like 2K, but I mean 1080p will just have to suffice. So I'm gonna install some things, and then I'll probably make another video showing uh, Call of Duty.